Now, let's hear an amazing story of a good friend of the Marians, Nermeen Rubin, who through her charity, Water for Mercy, is bringing this gift of life-saving water to many villages in Africa that are in such dire need. So as we mentioned, we're here with a very special guest, Nermeen Rubin, who has started a very important ministry. Now, in future episodes, we're going to be talking about the corporal and spiritual works of mercy. And one of the corporal works of mercy is give drink to the thirsty. Now, Nermeen, we always think of this as being spiritual when we hear this and we think, okay, well, how do I give drink to the thirsty? They're thirsty in spirit. This is all true. But you have taken on the literal challenge of trying, and we'd love to hear how, of solving the entire water crisis in all of Africa. This is an incredible, incredible endeavor, and you did it through the name Water for Mercy. Uh, first, tell us about yourself, and then tell us how you picked that name. I was born in Egypt, and as a Coptic Catholic, we had, my parents are very, very strong in faith, so we always prayed the rosary there. They actually gave us the foundation of being good Catholic, and then when we emigrated here in the States, of course, uh, and our lifestyle, we became very comfortable, and it kind of um, led me to not really be as uh, religious in my heart. I did the, I, I went through the motions of being a Catholic, but not really a Catholic in my heart. And when God touched my heart to go to Africa uh, and I saw the suffering, I remember, Father Chris, that you always said, love and action is mercy. When you see your fellow people suffer. And yeah, it's you just not saying, oh, I feel bad for you and turn the channel. You're right. the one who's responded and said, I'm going to do something about it. Right. And that's why our name is very significant, <laughs> Water for Mercy, because this is really God. And through God, we are now having his love flow like clean water to bring Africa that is very dry green and green with growth, green with hope and green with prosperity so that they could have good food. You have to have water first and then after you have water, then you have food. So truly it's all about mercy because the love that I have for my fellow African, as an Egyptian, I am an African and it hurt me that they don't have that dignity that all of us have and seeing that the people were walking four hours a day twice a day to go get water from a hole and it was all dark water that is not even fitting for human consumption and it really caused me to do something about it I, d I thought what can I do I'm just one person and God touched my heart so much and and there is a saying that people say God does not call the equipped he equips the called and and when I said yes, when I said yes, that I was going to do this, God equipped me with the best technology ever with our coalition, with our partners, with our boots on the ground who are really digging these solar powered wells and have this amazing technology. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do now. Let's take a look at this video that gives a good summary or mean of the work of Water for Mercy. The first time I arrived to Africa, I was shocked. Um, when my daughter kept asking to come to Africa, I said, no, I don't do third worlds. Being from Egypt, I know what poverty is. And I didn't want to see that. And thank God we have means. And I always said, ah, let me give to other people. And I don't want to, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. And it was the year I came to Tanzania, which is here now, and we came to Dodoma. And it happened to be in 2017, and I did not know it at the time. It was a drought. There was no water around. I saw women walk for hours and hours and hours getting water, and the water was as black as my skirt, and they were drinking it without filtering it. I just saw a vicious cycle of poverty with no water. How can they eat? There's no food. It hurt my heart so much. Then that is the reason why I decided to start Water for Mercy to provide a solution. I know a number of people like the saying, don't give a man a fish. 
teach them to fish. That is my philosophy. However, you cannot fish if you're hungry. You have to give them water first, give them food first. Then when they're feeling strong, they can think and then you can teach them to fish. Our whole mission is to provide water, food, and hope. The Water for Mercy team is Innovation Africa for Water, Cultivate for Food, and with Cultivate and Don Bosco, we are providing education. We are now changing these cycles of poverty into bountiful cycles of success. me when now I go and visit these villagers and I see how they've been able to be so resourceful and it all starts with one drop of water. They were starting to plant seeds. They were making bricks. They were starting to be motivated. They had water. Now they can have their little gardens and they're growing tomatoes, they're growing okra and they're feeling good. And that is when I decided to provide a permanent solution, not be on a subsistence level to just survive, but to thrive. That is hope. We are comprised of like-minded organizations that all have heart. We deal with the poorest of the poorest of the poorest. Innovation Africa provides the means to bring water. Step two is food. Partnering with Cultivate. The third one, we are providing hope because we're not just growing vegetables and produce through Don Bosco Institute. We are growing professionals. We've got amazing, beautiful Israeli technology and it's being disseminated through the most amazing Catholic school system in the entire world. Through the Don Bosco Network, we are going to be able to establish more ATEC, Agricultural Innovation Technology Centers, throughout Africa so that if we get the seed money within two, three years, easy, Africa is going to be self-sustainable. We need partners to help us. We need donations and we need foundations to take a look at our solution and realize that our solution is permanent. So, wow, what an incredible story of what, Nermeen, you developed here and the work that's being done. And again, I keep going back to the fact that God calls us to provide these works of mercy for our neighbor. And you're not doing it just for your next door neighbor. You're doing it for the whole continent of Africa. Now, specifically Kenya and Tanzania is where you're beginning. But you have a dream that this is going to spread all over the whole continent and, and beyond. Now, the one line that really caught me is when you mentioned in this and you have the technology the partners that you're dealing with this israeli technology is to in three years estimate that we might solve all of the water problems of africa now that's a huge statement um but knowing you in terms of your huge efforts tell us why you think that's possible and the technology that's involved in this well first of all this is god working through me as a vessel so i don't want to say this is all me this is really god working through me and the reason why is that by getting additional support and funds we know that we can definitely bring this life-saving water to these people and it is a permanent solution and it is self-sustaining because we are empowering these people so we're not just giving them a hand out we're giving them a hand up you know, let's talk, let's talk now back to, uh, and that's beautiful on the technology, but tell us maybe some of the heartwarming uh, story, maybe give us a story or an example of how you felt when you see the faces of the children or the parents who've not been able to provide clean water to their little children. And now they have this clean water. Are they singing? Are they dancing? Oh. Are, are, it's gotta be amazing. Oh. 
amazing. And as you saw in the video, it truly is amazing. And, and what, what I have to share with you, and it's not bragging about myself, it's just more of, it was so heartfelt. It's How fulfilling. Grateful. It's fulfilling. Yeah. And do you know that there is a baby named Nermeen now? <laughs> because at one of our villages, there was a woman. Is she talking yet? Uh, yeah, no, not yet. Because she'll probably talk more than you or me, right? I know. You're the only one who gives me a run for my money. I pray for that baby <laughs> named Nermeen. Oh, my goodness. But this woman was pregnant. And when we brought in life-giving water, clean water, this child now was able in her womb to grow healthy. And this baby was born. And when I go, I get to see this little baby who's an infant and named Nermeen because they are just so grateful. And what I just always say is, don't thank me, thank God. And the beautiful thing I would guess is that if they see that here comes through a person of faith, has now delivered some of the staples. That might bring the faith, many of the people, to the faith oh. themselves. Have you seen a little bit of the faith in re-energize there? In Absolutely. The when I go there, my dad, God bless him, he gives me these little prayer cards and little medallions. And when people want and to I come and kiss me. you pass out me, divine mercy cards. Ab absolutely. And I want to say, they'll, they'll kiss me, they'll say thank you, and I go, no, 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 no. Asante Mungu. That is Swahili to say, thank you, God. Mungu is God. Absolutely beautiful. So the last question that we have for you, Nermeen, is we're we go from here um we would love to have anybody who would like to support this ministry to be able to help you so as you can see on your screen it's waterformercy.org uh anybody who would be interested in liking to help so uh, nermeen thank you and to all of you who would like to support this ministry again waterformercy.org um it's a great uh, you're a great friend of our marion community and marion helper um so we invite all of our other marion helpers to keep them in prayer and all the work that you're doing so again, thank you and God bless you.